Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exoforce review, and this was on the Cyclone Defender and Clock Crusher from 2007. So we'll start now with the mini figs, like always. Or, well, in this case. We would have Rio, this later update version, and also a Devastator robot. Okay. Which for Rio, which this version, which did come in like probably, which was probably exclusive to this set. Well, with this green outfit, but the torso printing quite nice and kind of similar to the to most other versions. And it's not only leg printing for that, which wasn't very common at the time, but however, the hair piece and face print, same as from other versions. Whereas for the it's like for the Devastator robot, which which is this version, which kind of common in most of the sets, and of course I explained a lot of times how these work, like like red axle rod and so on. And from the back side, not only back torso printing with Rio and and also double side face, also the same as other versions, but aside from that, at least nice to see some exclusive, one exclusive variant of an existing fig in one of the sets, one of these sets, of course. And now on to the Cyclone Defender itself. Well, one of it, one of the sets. Which, as you see, kind of similar to one of the small ones from the prior year, like with some of the Technic bits used for the arms, and and of course, like most of these uh, sets, quite good value for what they were, for the minimal amount of pieces that they had. And also quite like the color scheme of which being a uh, dark green, dark gray, white, and yellow. Nice, uh, nice and consistent. And as for the feet, which as you can see, they're just regular Toamata feet of Bionicle, of course, but with a sticker onto them, which is a little bit different. And although I'm sure some of you can work around that in your mocking, of course. And as for the uh, rest of the legs, of which, as you see, does have the like curved slopes with a sticker on it, being 80.10, whatever that's for, and also a little different kind of one for that. Whereas for the back side, which which does have the like these like corner plates for some whatever reason, and the knee parts, which are consisted of mostly uh, these. Uh, four bent kind of Technic bits. So whoops, four bent Technic bits for that, going to a traditional ball joint hand connector. And as for this cockpit area, kind of similar to uh, one of the sets from the last wave, of course, but also similar canopy piece to what the Sky Guardian and Blade Titan both had, but of course with a different sticker onto it and also a code also a tile piece with a code on it that's used for the exoforce website which no longer exists of course and of course like all of these you can like flip this open and it has space and of course can fit your rio mini thing into of course and fits well all over him and also a little bit of asymmetricality but not sure if there was like an extra cone to put on to there, but I kind of forgot to do that, but whatever. But although one side which has a clip with a wrench on it, but the other side, nothing at all. Well, I think they maybe could have at least, at least have a, maybe at least could have used a hammer piece to also put on the side which, but that's just me. But as for these top section, which is, Kind of comprised of mostly these uh, curved or jagged slopes, or but in dark green, 
and a sticker off the side representing venting, of course. As for this one arm, which, as you can see, the whoops. Kind of the same kind of stuff going on with the legs, but, but of course, different sticker on this curved slope, uh, which with gears on it, and also Devastator robot arms used for the hands, like we see on most mechs today. And also got this little gun piece there, which if you move these fingers and slip right out, and this and one part of it which slips into that technic uh, rod in there. And I see quite nice, quite quite good build for what it is with this technic beam going on for that. Like if this were done nowadays, probably you ex probably expect to put a stud shooter in there, but for as is quite good. But as for the other arm, which a little quite different, for that. as you see, it does have a bit of a gear function, which I'll mention in a minute. It also does have a classic dish piece from Classic Space and all, but also clip pieces and two black katanas on there. Kind of cool for that. And if you like turn that bit of which, you make a good, good twirl around. Oh, which quite nice to see there. Oh, which, although that was quite good function for how it is. And so for the articulation of this one, that the shoulders are on ball socket joints and hips also there. Also good range of motion and also in the knees or ankles all the way around. Nothing in elbows and knees. So at least so with this which oh wait, hang on. So anyways, with this uh, which do get plenty of posability for that. Whereas for the back side of which as you see, there's nothing much going on for that. But although with, and also just a thought, maybe just put some clip pieces on there and put some extra tools on it since Rio's kinda the like mechanic inventor like one of the bunch, but at least that's me. Although I'm sure a lot of you can kind of do that, but yeah. And that's about it with Cyclone Defender. And now on to the Clock Crusher, which as you see, kind of similar to the Cyclone Defender, but of course this which for the robot side of things. And of course different bits, of it, but like from first glance is the color scheme, which is black and orange, which kind of makes it all Halloweenish, like we've seen with, like, uh, Poe Dameron's uh, X-Wing fighter from in Star Wars, and Samad in Bionicle. Well, and Cylon first, but at least interesting seeing it here, but yeah. So now, as for the feet, oh, which Oh, what's quite different than some of the other sets feet, which is consistent mostly telemetry feet of Bionicle, of course, but well, but except has a sticker on the toe part of that, kind of interesting. And as for the legs, kind of similar to the Cyclone Defender, or or at least sort of the same, but the only difference is with these. Uh, more jagged type slopes and a also a vent piece over that. But of course, interesting stickers on both of them. And as for the hip part of it, as you can see, a little different than the Cyclone Defender, but at least kind of a good way to differentiate them. And as for the cockpit canopy type area, like as you can see, has one of these kind of interesting pieces there, but and also a tile with a sticker on it, also for the website that no longer exists. And of course, you can like flip this down, and and of course have like a single bit of four studs in there to fit your Devastator or one in there, and close it on him like so, at least. And of course, does work out well. 
and also a bit of asymmetry to this one as well. Like a single translucent orange stud on one side, and also a little missile-like thing on the other side, which... But also you could modify it to have that on both sides if you wanted, but yeah. But also, as for the top part of which, also comprised of jagged slopes but with stickers on, but going in like the same in opposite directions rather than to each other. Or, or, but yeah. But as for this one or my witch, I see comprised of mostly two different ball joint kind of bricks to it and also with a ellipse. Okay. It also has another one of those uh, jagged slopes on it, and with a bit of a sticker on to there. And also, do you get one of those? I also get the same pieces for the robot arms, of course, and but also with the dinosaur animal tail pieces on there in orange. Nice to see there. And as for the other arm, of which just a single hand connector bit. And for the rest of which comprises mostly an astromech droid body piece, and also some of these odd bits, one of those little scope-like bits to it, and also a technic, uh, a uh, wheel and uh, these little connector bits, which acting like individual, like it's a gaffler. Although what could have been nice is if instead of these it were a Kordak blaster, since the uh, Toa Mari of Bionicle were also out at this time, and, but maybe that would have been a little too heavy and a little too much for that. <clears throat> but as for the back side, which just the same as Cyclone Defender, but instead with an orange plate and black corner plates, but at least a little bit more colorful than that, instead of like white and dark green, of course, but yeah. And so that's about it. And so for the articulation, like one of one, one arm, which is two separate ball joints there, and also all three fingers posable. And as for the other arm, which can turn all around and hips of which can go in and outwards, no posability at the knee and the ankles all around it, which so can get some good posability through there. And so now on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these of which are quite good set. Like for the like eight dollars that they were at the price point, at least you get like one of which a, an Exo Force one, one being a Devastator robot side one. So at least you get small ones that are for both good and evil. Like if you were able to pick any small ones that they were, well these were the two to get. But and also as you can see that the builds are which are quite similar to each other, but at least they are which not too repetitive. For that, and also with different color schemes and whatnot, and also different foot pieces, also not too repetitive. And, and of course, both of which do have uh, blasters on them, but but that don't function. But whatever. And also both of which consist in color schemes, obviously. And. Uh, but also with Cyclone Defender, at least get exclusive vari variant of Rio, of course. And, and yeah. Although, would have wished if he were included in other sets, but I can still kind of forgive it, but yeah. <laughs> and if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, then I'd say definitely pick them up eBay Bricklink or Mercari, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.